What is up guys? I've got a couple tips for you today and then I think what I'm going to do is you can see I'm getting ready for possibly taking this thing out on its maiden voyage at least in the street to see where my tune sits. Uh, exactly eight days from today uh, we kick off the season with the Michigan State Championship Series. Well at least for me I missed race one. Uh, I'm going to be going to race two. Truggy engine has not come in. I do not have it yet, so I will not be running that that class, of course. I'm not going to probably get the engine probably Friday, so a week from today. Anyway, uh, what I did here, if you guys have a nice paint job and you don't want to get it um, ruined or whatever, what you can do is get some heat tape and protect it, or like where you see the most of it here is over the exhaust. And then down the sides too, where the side skirts come into contact with the body, just so it doesn't rub through the paint. And this stuff is uh, made by Permatex. Let me grab the... No, I'm t I take that back, not Permatex, Versachem. And it's just, you get it at your local um, auto parts store, and it is just basically repair tape for mufflers it doesn't work worth a crap but it works very good here on the RC cars anyway it's coming from an ex mechanic so I never did repair or patch anything the hillbilly way I always did it the right way either do it right or don't do it at all um, the other thing I did here some of the paint kinda rubbed off already just from me trying the body on and off and this is just a protective like a shoe goo type thing anyway besides the point I don't know, I didn't paint the body, but I put it over also where the body mounts come into contact with the uh, with the body, and that, you know, when the chassis flexes and the body's vibrating around, it's not going to rub through your paint. So anyway, that's a pretty good tip, just to uh, protect your paint there, so, you know, you don't see it from the outside, so. And all you do is just apply it, you know, cut cut it to your length and apply it. It tears and stuff really easy, so if it's overlapping, I just kind of overlap it and then follow along the line here with my fingernail, and then I just kind of tear it. It perforates it perfectly to tear. You don't even, you could probably use an X-Acto blade, but I, honest to God, I just uh, cut it to length with a pair of scissors and then just kind of tore it off where it was. So that kind of helps the bodies. I'm sure most of you know that anyway, but I figured I'd throw the tip out there. So while this thing is heating up... It's probably going to take a good 25-30 minutes for it to heat up. I just barely feel a little bit of heat coming through to the chassis. So I just want to get it nice and, nice and saturated with, uh, with heat before I fire it up. Because the engine still is tight. So, I mean, technically it needs to break in just a hair more. And it'll be ready to go. But it's ready for a race tune. So that, that final little stage of break-in will be done real quick you know with the snap of a finger so that's, that's not uh, not a concern of mine I just want to make sure I have a good tune when I go to the track so I won't have to do as much tweaking which I doubt it'll need anyway I have this needle here set uh, the low speed needle let me see if the camera will focus in I don't think I have a flashlight handy so anyway yeah there's my low speed needle down there and that's set just about right at flush, and that should barely need any tweaking in at all. It's usually right at flush makes these Nova Rossi's very happy. Um, it'll idle for about a good 15 seconds or so, and you punch it, and it just screams right out of the gate. So that that's that's a good tune. I don't use any type of pinch test or any crap like that. I just go completely by feel and sound. As far as the high speed needle goes right now, I think I'm about one third of a turn in from flush on this. And I'm sure I'll have to adjust it. It's probably going to have to be another at least a quarter turn, maybe even a little more. But I won't know that until I get it uh, get it running. And I'm not going to like sit there and race tune it on the concrete because it's, uh, it's a different ball game. If I was going to race it on concrete, I'd tune it on concrete. But I, I just want to get it close. I doubt I'll be able to get any running video. I don't have anybody here to, to record film for me, and I'm certainly not even going to think about trying to drive this thing one-handed and record at the same time. Not going to happen. So, Yeah, anyways, uh, that's just a quick tip. I'm just about ready. Like I said, I am so pumped up for this first, uh, first race here next weekend. It's uh, the last of the uh, indoor stuff. So this track will be an indoor nitro race after that. 
boom, it's outdoor season time, and there's a ton of races coming up, so I'm pumped up. I mean, I'm going to be racing a lot of weekends, and it's awesome. My job, we just shut, started shutting down. I used to work Sunday through Thursday, have Fridays off, and uh, this week they decided they're going to shut down every Sunday for maintenance now from now on, so I got all the week free weekend time I need. I don't have to worry about Sundays or Saturdays, which is freaking excellent. <clears throat> So, and I'm loving my new job. I, I think some of you that have been at this channel when I first started out, I was in the transition of switching jobs. Well, I finally got my feet set in at this new place. They really like me. I really like them. They're real flexible, especially with my racing schedule, which is great. Uh, I got tons of vacation time, all kinds of good stuff. Great place to work. Love it. Anyway, you guys have a real good one. If I can somehow manage somebody to record for me, I will. Other than that, uh... Maybe I'll try to get some, uh, maybe the startup or something on, on the box or run it on the box for you guys. But like I said, I, I ain't doing it one-handed, so it's just way out of the question. I'm not even going to try. So you guys have a good weekend if I don't talk to you again, but I'm sure I will. I'll come up with something silly to talk about. Uh, maybe some more engine stuff or something. That'd be pretty cool. Anyhow. Short video. You guys have a real good one. Thanks again for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that happy, happy good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.